Hi guys, it's Joan, and today I'm going to talk about vitamin C and its dosages and some of the concerns regarding vitamin C. When my daughter was about 11 months old, we and she had a little rattle in her nose, and actually that started when she was about two months old and never really went away, and then it got worse when she was about 11 months old, and then it turned into a really bad congestion, just sneezing and the constant big goop out of her nose. And then she got a really strange rash on her back that just like went up the side of her back and also didn't go away then. She was getting low grade temperatures up to 99.7 and that went on for like two months even at one point when she was on an antibiotic to get rid of some infection, it was still going on. So I did a little research and I found a book called Super Immunity for Kids and I'm gonna read to you what this says because it's by Dr. Leo Galland and he, um, it's the subtitle is What to Feed Your Children to Keep Them Healthy Now and Prevent Disease in Their Future. And what he said about vitamin C, I just tell you what he said about vitamin C. Vitamin C in high doses is also an effective antihistamine. The doses that can produce this effect, 500 to 5 thousand milligrams a day are quite safe even for toddlers and vitamin C comes in chewable tablets. The main side effect of the excess of either magnesium or vitamin C is diarrhea which will stop when the dosage is reduced. So then he also says Dr. Galland recommends about 500 milligrams of vitamin C, C every three hours for a cold or viral infection. I never did give Jessica that much when she was under two years old. Uh, but when she got a bad rash uh, that covered half of her back, when she was being exposed to high levels of mold, I gave her 500 milligrams three times a day. Um, and sometimes, well, I've increased it to maybe about 500, actually about 1,000 twice a day, which is, which is 2,000 in a day, only when she's really, really not well, only when she's sick. So... And only if it's lingered too long. So then I'll kind of up it a little bit. So the most that she's gotten is 2,500 milligrams of vitamin C in any given day. And that only happened one time. And that uh, Dr. Gallen recommends that if you have recurrent or chronic respiratory infections, that 500 milligrams of vitamin C a day is good for even a one to three year old. Jessica has other issues that deplete vitamin C, including allergies and some sort of genetic histamine issue. So I knew that she had allergies before and that's why I know that when you have allergies, histamine becomes an issue and so that's the reason I felt pretty comfortable giving her what seemingly is a, is a lot higher dose of vitamin C for a child. I mean, I think 60 milligrams is the, the RDA, the recommended daily allowance or something. I don't know what the optimal daily allowance is, but it's pretty low, even for adults. So in allergies, Dr. Galland also says that in allergies, as in reoccurrent infections, deficiencies in certain nutrients contribute to a malfunction of the immune system. So Dr. Galland recommends a few things for cold and other viral infections with the vitamin C. So what he says is, when you give vitamin C about 500 milligrams every three hours, if the bowels become loose, stop giving it that day. And the next day, give them 200 milligrams every three hours. And if the bowels again become loose, stop the vitamin C that day and the next day and give them 100 milligrams every four hours. Then give him about 500 milligrams a day until he's recovered. Although some claim that megadoses of vitamin C are not utilized by the body, and are just excreted in the urine, vitamin C in doses of 1,000 milligrams a day or more has been shown to enhance immune function in normal human volunteers. So if it's going to enhance immune function in normal volunteers, then it will definitely, well, the assumption is that it will definitely help somebody with a compromised immune system. So by, this is a book by Dr. Thomas Levy and he wrote about curing the incurable vitamin C infectious disease and toxins and how high doses of vitamin C were helping people with like serious viruses basically. And concern becomes uh, kidney stones, oxalate formation and that kind of thing. The thing I wanted to say was that one of the things this doctor says is that uh, that there was some study, an article reviewing a large number of vitamin C studies said that he, that can, this guy H-A-N-C-K in 1982 confirmed the remarkable safety of long-term supplementation in a double-blind study found that vitamin C administration was very safe even for premature infants. So, I mean, sort of the question became recently for me was, you know, how much vitamin C is safe for 
a young child because there are side effects. I've experienced them. You know, I've had bloating, stomach pain, stomach rumbling, diarrhea. I mean, I've had all of that from when I've taken like a little too much vitamin C for me. And it's actually what they call bowel tolerance, like he was just saying, is that when you experience all of those kinds of symptoms like the, the diarrhea or all the bubbly things in your belly, then you just know that you have to go un right underneath that. You try like one or 2,000 underneath that amount so that you don't have all of that going on um, because you don't wanna be in pain when you're taking vitamin C to get better from something anyway. The bottom line is, is that vitamin C, you can have side effects from too much vitamin C for you because everybody is different and your amount of vitamin C is gonna be so different. Like my daughter, 2,000 milligrams in a day. Um, I would absolutely not recommend that you do anything without talking to your doctor and I personally go see functional medicine doctors. So, you know, definitely go see your doctor for a young child. I, that's just my personal, Comfort, comfort level. That's just our experience with vitamin C and I hope that helps you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.